Hey guys, so in this video I'm going to be doing another like three main update things like in the last video um, or maybe not the last video, I think the video before that, I don't know, I, I, I'm making this like the day after the other one, but anyway, so um, I already did that tank, the tank behind me um, and my iguana's tank, um, but I still need to do those two down there. And my mom wants her fishbowl thing cleaned out today, so I'm going to be doing that in this video as well. Um, by the way, I just had, like, uh, cross-country cross practice, and, like, my hair's all messed up, and uh, I sweat a lot. And I haven't taken a shower yet, because I want to finish this first. So, uh, yeah, let's get into this. I'm very glad there isn't smell of vision because it wouldn't be good. I kind of smell. Okay, so first I'm going to explain what's wrong with these. This one, um, my dad moved this whole, like, thing out, I'm pretty sure. So I'm pretty sure, like, a bunch of these pieces are messed around with, um, I watered it. I think a bunch of the beetles are dead because I haven't been watering it enough. So I think I'm going to water it, like, every other day. And, um, let's see. I need to fix some stuff back there. So basically, I'm going to do this like the other video. I'm going to explain everything that I'm going to do. There's some stuff here that I need to take out. And then I'm going to uh, do it and uh, show you in a second. So, yeah. Okay, so like I said with the iguana's tank in the other video, um, not perfect, but it's a little bit better. I kind of moved that um, the rocks around and stuff. And there was like a succulent back there that was still alive. And there's a succulent over there that was dead, so I moved the live one over there. And this cactus is doing real well. That cactus, not so much. But the beetles are gone now, so hopefully the cactus will start doing better. Um, yeah, I tried to clean the glass as much as I could. Here, I'll try to... I'll kind of show you... Here. I'll show you how hard it is to put this tank in. This is why I chose it to be like the desert one, so then I wouldn't have to deal with... Uh, see if my phone I wouldn't have to deal with taking it out every single day so uh, here. first of all the so the lids like a uh, the type of lid that slides on with the aquarium so it's kind of hard to get on okay so you can see it's not super hard it's harder to take out than it is to put in but I have to slide it oh geez that's not great. Oh, shoot. Oh. Well, this is quite embarrassing. Actually, in the process of trying to put it back, it cracked. Which, um, to be honest, I, I don't really love this aquarium. So, I think I'll just leave it here because I don't really see why not. I mean, like, the crack's just, like, an annoyance more than anything. It's not a fish tank. And it never could be a fish tank. It's literally built for reptiles. It's built not to hold water, I'm pretty sure. Or something like that. That's why it always says, like, reptile tank. Um, both of these tanks are. So, yeah, hopefully that doesn't crack more. But, uh, yeah, I don't know. Um, I looked at my other 10 gallons, and I think only one is about this size. These are actually different sizes. This one's a little bit, um, shorter. I think I only have one other that's just short, and it's like the one with the black background that I used to put these fish in at one point, just for like a day or so. Um, so, uh, yeah, it's pretty annoying. Uh, I don't really, I'm not going to do anything about it. I don't really care too much. But I, I think in the future, I may want to redo this tank and just make it like this, um, this other tank. So, uh. Yeah, it still doesn't look great, but uh, now it looks, I guess, worse. <laughs> but anyway, let's go on to this one. So, I, uh, yeah, so this one was the one that I was most worried about when my brother said he didn't do anything with these. As you can see, a ton of the grass is dead in the back and all around. It's still alive right there. I have an ant in here, like a, uh, like a, a queen ant that, uh, I'm not sure if it's even made like a, uh, started having eggs or whatever, but, um, that's pretty much the only thing that lives here. There's a grasshopper in the back that I'm going to let go in a second. 
There's also um, some moldy carrots. I didn't tell my dad to feed this tank, but I guess he did for the grasshopper, apparently. Whatever. Anyway, um, he, there's like dead leaves there that I need to take out. And I mean, I put dead leaves in here intentionally, but intentionally, but those are like gross and they'll probably get moldy, so I'm gonna take those ones out and uh, clean the glass, water it a bunch, plant more seed, and then yeah, I'll update you. Also, forgot to say, um, I'm going to plant some spider plants, some pothos, and I'm going to put this big piece of wood that I got from the Hoover Dam right here. Um, it's pretty cool. I accidentally caught my <laughs> I accidentally caught my microwave on fire trying to like sanitize this piece. As you can see, it's kind of charred. But I, I was telling my parents that now it really looks like it's from Arizona because like a lot of the wood is charcoal there because um, lots of forest fires and stuff. So anyway, I'm going to plant more tropical plants in here because I don't know why I did that. didn't do it the first time. Okay, guys, so to be honest, this is now my new favorite tank. Um, this is like, if I could just take this and like replicate it, what, like five times, make it my iguana's tank, I totally would. But Pothos plants... He can't, um, he might accidentally ingest and that'd be bad. And, uh, he tramples plants really, so spider plants wouldn't work either. So, um, this is basically, like, again, like, multiply this by five, and this is what my crusted gecko's tank's gonna be like. Except I'm gonna have bamboo, I'm gonna try to get, like, a few pieces of bamboo, have it, like, in the corner or something. And, let's see, um snake plants so like two vertical plants so this looks awesome to me I've, I've really like this is so cool so i have the really cool piece of wood that's like all crazy as you can see and then like there's the grass and i put more grass seed like i sprinkled more grass seed then um sprayed it down a bunch and then i obviously planted tons of uh pothos and three um spider plants which should hopefully like branch out somehow now this is kind of like a bigger version of this up here I actually put the grasshopper in here as you can see but uh yeah so I have spider plants and pothos and stuff and this looks pretty cool but it's a on such a small scale and it's not really like scaped very much that there's no real like it's not as cool um but it will be cool to see like these plants grow out and stuff like that so uh yeah now i'm gonna do the uh beta thing but wow this looks super cool sorry for the um shaky camera but i didn't actually realize that back there is actually like a cave like i guess i forgot somehow and i uh like stuck my hand back there and i was kind of surprised that that was like a cave thing um Okay, so now I'll show you the beta. It's actually in a new bowl, and uh, I'm going to change its water and stuff. Okay, so yeah, that was my uh, beta fish, and I know I don't have it in the best living conditions, but they're pretty hardy fish, and you might yell at me in the comments because I just kind of grabbed it. Um... I don't really see a problem with that. I don't really have a net for it. I mean, like, I like to keep my nets, like, I don't like to use them for different things. Like, I have a, uh, I have a big net, then I have, like, a small, smaller net. Well, I have a big net for the big aquarium over there. Then I have a small net for that aquarium that you can't see because there's tons of light. And then I don't have any other nets after that, so, um... Well, actually, I think I do, but, like, they're really old, and I I don't know if I used them when I had, like, ick, which, so I don't really want to use them. And I thought I threw them away, but I guess I still have one of them. I don't know. But anyway, um, hope you enjoyed this video. If you did, like it down below. If you have any comments or concerns, put it in the comments below. And if you want more content, then subscribe. Have a nice day, and I will see you in the next video.